In this video, I'm going to show you how to edit your front page. The beauty with Elementor is that once you get the understanding on how to edit your front page, the concept is the exact same throughout every other page on your website. So if you wanted to edit your contact page, then you would load Elementor the exact same way and you would edit it the exact same way. The only thing that would be a little bit different are the settings under your widgets and I will cover your widgets shortly. But to, to access the Elementor page builder, there's two ways we can access it. The first way is, is obviously when you log in, you'll go to your dashboard, then you're going to come to pages and hover over and click on all pages. And then we're going to look for your front page. Now your front page will always be uh, indicated because it says front page. Every other page that has been built with Elementor will say Elementor. Elementor. You'll notice down here that your shop is just marked as your shop page. So now we have told WooCommerce that that is your shop page. But if you remember in the introductory video on how to log into your website, under the template builder here, you'll see shop. Now that is how you, um, uh, that is, that Elementor Builder has been allocated to this shop page. All right, so that is why this page is not showing Elementor, but the others are. So to access your Elementor Page Builder, well, there's two ways we can do it. We can hover over Cookies and All, which is your front page, and we can click Edit with Elementor. I always like to right click and then open link in a new tab. So just so it opens it in a different uh, tab at the top here. So that's one way, which is my preferred way. The other way is, is if you click on edit, and then it will actually load that page, and then you have to click on the big blue button here that says edit with Elementor. All right. So I have the Elementor page builder preloaded here because depending on your internet speed is how quick it loads. If your internet's very fast, then it will load quicker. If your internet's really slow, then it will load a lot slower. So to edit your front page, you've got a little navigator on the right-hand side here, which you can move around. If you click on the top section, you'll see right above welcome, you see this little pink tab that's come up. That is what we call a row. Section two, which could be row two, you'll see that there's the pink, uh, pink tag there, and we've got one column, two column, three column, but in row number one, which is section one, we've only got one column. And same as we go down. All right, and as you'll see, we click on it, we click on it and it will take us to that section. That's what I like the most about it. So if we come to row number one here, we'll click on the word in here, we'll see this is what we call a slide widget. So edit slides, if we go welcome to, click on that, there is your background, which we just hover over and can choose another image, right? We go content. This is where we can go, welcome to our website tit titled Cookies and All. As you can see, it appears, oh, sorry about that. It appears right here. So now we're just going to go and remove that so it goes back to welcome to Cookies and All. And then at the bottom here, you'll see there's a button text and it will say view our range. Now we can make that say shop now if we wanted to. And then this is your link. So what we'll do is we'll just go forward slash shop because that is the link to your shop page. So now when someone goes to the website, they'll, they'll um, uh, hover over shop now button and it will take them to the, your shop page. So that is how you'd edit your slides. If we go to row, uh, row number two, which is this section here, what we've got here is we've got an icon box. So we can just click on the icon library, select all, and let's put, change it to a shopping cart. And as you can see, it's been changed. Blow your taste buds and not your wallet. As you can see, it is a title. Blow your taste buds, not your wallet. Um, and then in the description, we can say this is for every user that buys from us. Something silly, something short, but as you can see, it is right there appearing underneath. So what you do, you'll be able to, uh, what changes you make, you'll be able to visually see it before you actually click the update button at the bottom here. So now let's just put some, let's just put that writing back in. We'll just call it view our range. If we just go to the style tab, 
okay and then we got the alignment we can make everything line in the middle line to the left line to the uh, uh, to the right or be justified or just put in the center now we've got the icon here this is your primary color this is where we can change the color of your icon as you can see there let's make it this blue here and we've got the spacing that we can play around and we've got the size and if we go content this is the color of your title as you can see it changing and then the description will just make red so as you can see we have now changed the whole color and the feel of it so now let's say for example we want to we like these colors because this this widget here is the exact same widget but we've just got a truck rather than a cart now let's say we like that style and we like yeah okay i want to do it instead of actually coming to this widget go into style, doing all the changes. What we can do, if we select this widget here, right click and go copy, and then on these, with, with, sorry, on this widget here, we just right click and we go paste style. You see, everything is, pay, uh, the style is brought across. So, which is a really nice feature when you've got uh, exact same plugins in the same row. All right, so nothing will be saved. So this is just to show you how to uh, apply changes. If we scroll down a bit, we have got your, we've got section three, which is row number three, and we've got a title here, our favorite items below. Now we can uh, go yum, yum, just to show you how to add the text, or we could come here and we can actually click right here and type yum, yum, and just say yes, please. Now, if you put your eyes to the left of the screen, you'll see that that wording that I've just typed in is appearing in the widget here. So we'll just delete that. And again, same process. If we go to style, you'll see now the text color is there. We can change it to that blue, just like that. We could change it to red by dragging it across like this. We could make it Lumo green. So now you're not limited to certain things, which is nice. So you can log in and change and give it a, fr a fresh look every couple of weeks, couple of months, whenever you are ready. If we scroll down here and we go to this widget here, this is your uh, section, uh, row number four. Okay, this is your product section. So if we click on the little icon at the top, uh, the little, sorry, the little pencil at the uh, top right of these products, which is the pink uh, pencil there, you'll see that we've got some a lot of different options now because each widget has its different options. So we can, uh, we've got it turned off, but we can show title, sorry, show category. And then as you can see, biscuits, 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 scroll down uh, and it seems to be showing biscuits, a lot of them. We can show the rating. We can show short description if we wanted to. Wouldn't recommend that because obviously the page gets longer, the more items need to load. So that's why we've got it turned off. And the user just wants to see the image, the title, how much, and then add to cart. If they want to see more in the, uh, of the item, then they can click on the image. It will take them to that product. So that is how, and obviously, sorry, once, you, once you've made any changes on this widget, it will affect, uh, affect all the plugin, uh, sorry, all the products that are appearing under this widget. All right. If we scroll down a little bit, we come to your very last row which is row one, two, three, four, five, which is row number five. This is what we call a gallery. So now with a gallery, if I just click on the image, you'll see that the image will appear and you, it's like sometimes can throw you out. So what I like to do, because we know it's a gallery, I just like to hover over, click on the little pencil at the top right, and it will bring all the settings up here. So these are your settings, spacing in between the images, your row heights, your light box. So a light box is when you click on it and the image will get bigger. If we wanted to add more images, you'll come over to this section where it says three images selected, hover over and click little edit pencil, where we can then from here, just change things around if we wanted to, or add to gallery, which will present us, let's say we're gonna add this image, we go add to gallery. As you can see, the image is there. If we want to remove one, we just click there and it's been removed. And then you'd go insert gallery and the page will load. Uh, sorry, then the images will load, as you see, just like that. And then once you're happy with it, you just click update. Right, so that is how you would edit your current layout of your website. The next section I'm gonna show you is, um, is a section on how to add your 
testimonial box. Remember in the first video I showed you if we come back to this tab here, we went down to the widget section under unlimited elements and we installed the, testimo uh, the testimonial box. So now to access all your widgets, we click on this little Rubik's cube at the top. These are all the widgets that you are able to use. There's multiple uh, things that you can add. You can add a counter, icon list, progress bar, testimonies, tabs. You can just basically go wild if you wanted to. So now what we need to do is we're going to add that testimonial. So what we'll do is we're going to click this little plus, uh, plus at the bottom here, which is going to give us this section. We know we want to add one testimonial, so we'll click on the one column. Right, as you can see, it's here, and it's automatically been added to your navigator bar at the bottom here. Then you're going to go back to where you see all the widgets, and here you're just going to type at the top, test. And as you can see, there is our testimonial box, and it's got that little purple icon at the top, uh, top right, which is indicating it's unlimited elements. You can see the little icon on the right, on the left here. Now what you do is you're going to click and drag into it, and so you see that pink bar and drop it now it comes with preloaded items that so this person james is there so let's just change that to an image you'll see let's just make it these biscuits here and then we'll just say these are the best just like that and as you can see it loads just like that layout we can go regular or reversed meaning that the name is on the top Scroll, uh, put it back to regular. We can go image size and leave the image size as is. We can change the title here, which we'll just call cookies and all. Where are we from? We're just going to type in South Africa, just like that. And as you can see, it will change cookies and all South Africa. To style it, you'll just go to your style function, background color. We can make it whatever we want. We'll scroll down a little bit. We'll go to the text because obviously we can't really see the text now. So we want it red, uh, white. And that's how the image here, we can go image spacing, image width. Just like that. Image height, as you can see. The radius, which is the roundness of the image. You can go to the title. You can make it a, a little bit red. Subtitle, which is South Africa, will make that completely red or black, sorry, and then the pointer. So that is how you would add a widget to your website. So you can you can go crazy now, add as many things as you want, enhance your website. And as I said, once you understand this page builder, the same it, it functions the exact same on all your other pages. All right. But if you have any other troubles, please send us an email and then we'll assist you accordingly.